Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I want to do a quick video on working with multiple timelines inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 or above. So I believe it was back in DaVinci Resolve 15 they added the ability to add multiple timelines. Could have been 14, not 100% sure on that. But I wanted to show you a couple different ways that you can work with multiple timelines and how this whole thing works. Now, first off, you obviously have to have multiple timelines. So for instance, I have a ton of different timelines in this folder here. And uh, obviously there are some that are closed out right now. But if you don't see these tabs up here in this little plus tab, you wanna go right here if you're in DaVinci Resolve 16. If you're in 15 or before, it's gonna be like here, uh, but it's the same button basically. So you click on this. And this is your timeline view. Now you can uh, you know, change a lot of different things here like the way the actual clips show up and how they look. But we're looking for this right here. And you can see if we toggle that on and off, that is adding our stack timelines. So cool, now you can go through and you can open other timelines. So, and when you see I click on a drop down here, these are ones that aren't open. But I wanna show you something that's really neat and what's called pancake editing. So for instance, let's say you have a couple different uh, things open here. Maybe there's scenes and like you edit scene by scene or something like that. And you want to go through and sort of, I don't know, just edit the scenes and then bring them into one you know, giant timeline. You can actually go over here to the right hand side and click on this little plus button. When you click on that, it's gonna open up another timeline below. Now when you go here, it's only gonna show you timelines that are closed out. So if you have a timeline open here, exit out of it, just click the little X, and then you'll be able to open it down here. And when you do that, you are then going to be able to sit there and you can easily pancake edit or uh, you know use multiple timelines. So this is really good if you're, again, doing like scenes up here and then you're doing something where you have like a full timeline down here. And then again, you can easily just exit out of that, but you can also add multiples. So you could have three um, or four, depending on your monitor and your resolution, stacked up on each other. So anyway, that's a really quick tutorial on how to use timelines and multiple timelines, having open them open at once, as well as stacked pancake editing. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.